Here are 25 questions and answers with explanations, highlighting the comedic blunders in each move of the game between Hikaru Nakamura and Oleksandr Bortnik. 1. What is White's first move and why is it a blunder? 1d4. It's a blunder because it doesn't immediately attack Black's e5 pawn and allows Black to develop freely. 2. Why is 2 bg5 a questionable move? 2. bg5 pins the knight but doesn't contribute to controlling the center or developing pieces efficiently. 3. Explain the blunder behind 4. nc3. 4. nc3 blocks the c-pawn and limits white's central control, delaying development. 4. What's the blunder in 7 qd2? 7. qd2 doesn't contribute to the central development and doesn't create immediate threats. 5. Why is 9 d5 a dubious move? 9. d5 weakens white's pawn structure and doesn't lead to any immediate benefits. 6. Explain the blunder behind 11. nf2. 11. nf2 moves the knight back to its starting square, wasting time and allowing black to further develop. 7. Why is 13 cxd5 a mistake? 13 cxd5 releases the tension in the center prematurely and allows black to open lines for their pieces. 8. What's the blunder in 15 a4? 15 a4 doesn't have a clear purpose and doesn't contribute to white's development or central control. 9. Explain the mistake behind 17. Rab av1. 17. Rab1 is a passive move that doesn't create threats or improve white's position. 10. Why is 19 re1 a blunder? 19. Re c1 doesn't have a clear purpose and allows black to continue improving their position. 11. What's the blunder in 21 rxb4? 21. rxb4 loses a rook for a pawn without any clear compensation or tactical justification. 12. Explain the mistake behind 23. na4. 23. na4 doesn't have a clear purpose and doesn't contribute to white's plan or development. 13. Why is 25 bd2 a questionable move? 25 bd2 blocks the rook's path and doesn't contribute to white's active play. 14. What's the blunder in 27 qc3? 27. qc3 doesn't create threats and leaves the c3 square vulnerable for black's pieces. 15. Explain the mistake behind 29. nb6. nb6 loses a knight without any tactical or positional justification. 16. Why is 31 bc3 a blunder? 31. BC3 doesn't contribute to White's active play and leaves the C3 square unprotected. 17. What's the blunder in 33 BXH8? 33. BXH8 loses a bishop for a knight without any clear tactical or positional advantage. 18. Explain the mistake behind 35. G3. 35. G3 weakens White's king position and doesn't create any immediate threats. 19. Why is 37 QE3 a dubious move? 37 QE3 doesn't contribute to White's active play and allows Black to continue their plan. 20. What's the blunder in 39 KG2? 39. Kagum 2 moves the king into a potentially vulnerable position without clear benefits. 21. Explain the mistake behind 41. RC3. Mice 41 RC3 doesn't create threats and leaves the C3 rook passive and vulnerable. 22. Why is 43 KF1 a blunder? 43. KF1 moves the king into a more exposed position and doesn't improve white's position. 23. What's the blunder in 45 NE4? 45. NE4 allows black to simplify the position and activate their pieces further. 24. Explain the mistake behind 47. D6. 47. D6 creates a passed pawn but also opens lines for black's pieces to become more active. 25. Why is 49d7 a blunder? 49d7 promotes a pawn but allows black's pieces to become more active and coordinate better.